This is uh, of an explanatory video on how the Philips ambient LED lamp works. There's a great deal of confusion out there because the bits where the light come out are yellow, yet it produces white light and people don't get how that works. It's pretty much just a modification of the way normal white LED lamps work. Or normal white LEDs work. Pretty much all white LEDs actually. Um, with very few exceptions which are beyond the scope of this video. Uh, what it is, is under each of these uh, lobes, there's half a dozen Luxion Rebel LEDs. If you want pictures of that, there's uh, on the Lamp Tech website, which I highly recommend as far as technical documentation in this area. Uh, on the article on this lamp, albeit the British version, which has a medium bayonet base instead of the medium screw base that this one has, and it's 220 volts to 240 volts, this is... Um, there's half a dozen blue Luxion Rebel LEDs in there, and what it does is it excites the um, uh, cerium doped yttrium aluminum garnet, which is the what makes these lobes yellow. Ordinarily, the plastic would be white, um, and what that does is that converts some of the blue light into uh, yellow, primarily with bits of red and bits of green mixed in. And it's pretty much the same process that ordinary LEDs white LEDs use like this is what the um, inside of one of those uh, super cheap for an LED lamp um, lighting science lamps looks like this is one of the uh, uh, tooth this is one of the uh, Mexican made ones this isn't the uh, one of the American ones um, although this the phosphor like most LEDs is integrated into the dye but that's what those two uh, yellow things are those are each 4 watt um, Osram uh, Opto power LEDs uh, this one uses Luxian Rebel, which by coincidence, or by more than coincidence, is a subsidiary of Philips. And that's also who made the lamp. But, um, so that's pretty much, the reason that this is done is because it is one way of improving the efficiency of the LED. By Because the phosphor runs cooler than if it's exposed to the, to the LED dye. Which is the thing that pr pr creates pretty much almost all the heat in an LED. And by doing that, phosphor runs cooler and it runs more efficiently. Although, there's also a, something which may be just as effective and doesn't rely on the specialty or the um, specialized uh, uh, design. It's just employing cool white LEDs with uh, red LEDs. But I don't have any lamps that do that. But this is... Um, one of these crappy, really cheap uh, Lights of America LED floods, and they don't last very long, especially because these have a very, very cheap, crappy driver, which is pretty much a uh, capacitor, and a, as a capacitive uh, reactant, as a current limiting, except the only problem is that that is very high crest factor, which is very bad for the LEDs. Crest factor being the ratio of a peak something to the root mean square of something. Ideally, that would be the square root of 2, since that is the ratio of peak to root mean square in a sinusoidal signal. But, uh, and you can also hear when it when it's energized, that, that sparking noise, that's the uh, capacitor charging. And as you can see, it's um, cool white, really crappy, and if you turn it off, aside from the afterglow, you can see the uh, yellow. Whereas normal LEDs, or proper LEDs like this one, you can see that the uh, nowhere near as objectionable. Likewise with this one. Of course, the problem with these is that these run really hot. Uh, like this is this is the setup that I had for that uh, Sunforce inverter load test video, and pretty much, and that's pretty much where I normally use these. Yes, I do have four of these. Um, pretty much just some uh, 16 or 18 gauge two conductor zip cord and some that's soldered and taped to some uh, pigtail lamp holders, and then these things just get operated in free air in un 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 unheated outbuildings or out in the cold, and uh, because they run really really hot and it's of course and again this is one of the problems with trying to shoehorn. Uh, niche technology like fluorescent lamps into uh, the broad spectrum application 
of the of the incandescent lamp, and it simply doesn't bloody work. Although some examples are better than others, but still, probably have something like that because it's mains after all. Um, but these are still these are really crappy. They're technically American made, but that's because final assembly, all the components, and very likely PCB subassemblies are all made overseas in likely in you probably guessed it, China.